Welcome to Mr. Hall's How To. You know, we install pistons in a motor. One of the things we do is we always check the ringing gap in the cylinders, but one thing that a lot of people forget about doing is to check the oil control ring tension. In fact, I don't know anybody else that actually does this. Never sent a video on it. Uh, people I talk to have never done it, but I'm going to show you how to do it. This is very important because guess what? Some oil control rings are packaged wrong when you get them from the manufacturer. So how are you ever going to find out if those oil control rings are the right ones? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. You install the oil control ring in the piston, leave the top two rings off, install the piston upside down into the bore. Before you put it in the bore, put a little bit of oil on it and then work it up and down. Take a tension gauge. This is actually just a fish scale. Put it on the piston. Make sure and hold your hand right here and just pull. It will actually tell you how much tension you have in those oil control rings. Now a good tension to have would be 20 to 40 pounds for say like a 4 inch bore motor. The smaller the bore, the less tension you can have. The bigger the bore, the more tension you can have. Now if you're into racing, of course you know you want very low tension rings. You're going to go down a lot further than that depending on what kind of motor you're building. But I wouldn't go below 20 pounds on a street engine with a 4 inch bore. Uh, I have seen some foreign cars with some real small pistons that go down to around 10 inches of uh, a drag. This is very important to do because guess what? It just happened recently to my son. He uh, built a motorcycle with a very prominent uh, piston manufacturer, very prominent set of rings, and they gave him the wrong rings in the package. He put the motorcycle together, he didn't check the oil ring tension, he put it together, it started smoking immediately. He took it back apart, he came and asked me, he said, hey, what do you think's wrong with it? So I, I put the piston in with the oil control rings without the top compression ring, and the piston dropped to the bottom. He had zero tension on his oil control rings, so this is very, very important when you're building an engine. Mr. Hall series of how-to.